welcome back to Melbourne Railway videos. Today I'm here at Northcote on the Mernda Line and I might be getting through by a magpie but that's alright. Just here for a short video, I'll film a couple of trains on here. That's looking towards Mernda. Um, and it's platform two. Looking towards the city this way. You can see that the lines here have actually been re-sleeped probably, well, relatively recently. Um, which is interesting. Up the track, that is also the case. However, if you look at the other end, up the track beyond the level crossing, not sure what that road's called. It might be Separation Street or Arthurton Road or something like that. I think it's Separation on one side. Um, yeah, beyond that, I think there are no longer these concrete sleepers, at least on one of the sides. Seems to be a quiet station. Not too many people here, just wedged in amongst uh, a residential area. Like most stations served by extrapolises. You might be able to hear in the background the coronavirus announcement that's been playing on the network or around the network recently should have a train coming soon here we go extrapolis it's a Mernda service of course nine twenty two m's leading one thousand six hundred and sixty one t 921M, 920M, 1660T, and the rear car is 919M. Trains are departing. I think the next stop will be Croxton. I've got no idea what will be after then. Don't know this line particularly well. You can see the broom gates coming up. What else what I can show you while I'm here? Um, there's this underpass here. Which, yeah, I guess it's just for pedestrians so they can access the other side of the railway line without having to use the level crossing up there, up the track. The Mernda line is going to get, I think, four level crossing removals in not too long, or not too long a period of time, which is going to be really good. It's going to be Sky Rail, which is my favourite solution for removing level crossings because it's really cheap crates land un underneath and yeah it's just a, an all-round all great solution much better than digging a trench because that takes an extensive period of time and in my opinion it actually looks worse I know that some people are anti sky rail but um yeah I think for the greater good it's better to have sky rail unlock that space underneath the railway line so that'll be happening soon it's gonna be up that way a bit I think it's around Preston from memory there'll be a new station and four level crossings gone I think they're also realigning the track because apparently there's some sort of annoying zigzag curve or something like that which can be alleviated with this sky rail um, what else can I talk about I think we're gonna be going back into some stricter coronavirus restrictions so hopefully that means I can keep filming videos for a bit I'm not getting out all the time, but every couple of weekends I've been, you know, trying to get out, film some content. But if we go back into restrictions, that might make doing that a bit more difficult. Don't know why I'm doing this, but that's another view. <laughs> so yeah, I'll just wait until this train comes and take it, I guess. Hopefully it's a comment, but as if that'll happen. And we've got that train coming. In 
interesting. There must be some workers on the tracks. I think those things go off as a warning sound for workers. Hopefully it's that and not, I don't know, someone getting killed <laughs> in northern suburbs, so you never know. I'm sure it's just for the workers. It's quite a chilly day today. Has been raining on and off. Nothing particularly bad. Twenty seven M's leading. Thank you all for watching this video. If you did enjoy, please consider leaving a like and subscribing if you like if you like my content in general. See you all in the next video.